What's up everybody? It's OC Motor back at you with another one on Chris Got Games and today I'm sure you're curious to know what we're going to be discussing. But first, hit the notification bell, hit the like button, uh share with friends, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, uh comment below and um before you guys go and do that, I want to be I want to uh put a big shout out to uh Sam from Contagious Collection on YouTube. So what I want everybody to do is um go right now uh to Contagious Collection on YouTube and uh also subscribe to his channel. I want everybody that subscribed to my channel to go uh subscribe to him channel and show him some love and uh give him some props so we can uh grow this YouTube thing. But uh yeah, so yeah, giving giving props to him. And uh yeah, so with that out of the way, um today we're gonna be doing a, a recent pickups video. So uh let's get started with this. So the first game I'm going to show you is um, Excite Bike for the M64. This is Excite Bike for the Nintendo 64. I mean, I'm sure everybody knows what a M64 cartridge looks like. That's Excite Bike. And uh, I got this, there was a Pond America in Invergrove Heights and they ended up moving currently to West St. Paul or South Robert Street. And uh, I went in there browsing one day with the intent of really not picking anything up and um, I saw this in there for a good price so I decided to buy it because um, usually when you go to a Pond America or a Pawn Shop, and they have video games, especially like N64, older stuff. It's usually sports titles. So I was surprised to see this. I mean, this is technically a sports title, but um, this is also exclusive to the Nintendo 64. And so, yeah, so it was cool to find this. And don't, 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 don't get on me too hard, guys. But uh, honestly, I've never played this game. And uh, I had an N64 growing up. It's just that playing GoldenEye and so many other titles on it, I just missed missed out on this one. I was never able to play it. So look for future um, discussions about this and uh, look for future uh, Let's Plays of this game on my channel. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's continue. So the next game I'd like to talk about here is called FX Unit Yuki for the Sega Dreamcast. FX Unit Yuki for the Sega Dreamcast. This is a custom game. I think it's made by Josh Prada. I don't know who this is made by, but if everybody goes to Radical Reggie on YouTube, YouTube Radical Reggie FX Unit Yuki. He explains this game, shows gameplay footage about it, about it or of it, and he tells you uh, where you can pick up a copy of this if you want to get your own copy. I ordered this from the dude's website that actually um, made this game. So yeah, that's FX Unit Yuki. Just wanted to showcase that, and uh, let's see the next one. This game here is Hydro Thunder for the Sega Dreamcast. Hydro Thunder. This is basically kind of like um, the game I showed in my previous video, um, Wave Race. This is kind of a similar game to that. And I'll explain it more and show these in better detail when I do the uh, reveal and discussion at a later time, but yeah, so this is Hydro Thunder, and I picked this copy up, 
off of LukeyGames.com, L-U-K-I-E Games.com. They're uh, my go-to if I want 32X, Jaguar, or Dreamcast stuff. Look at the condition of this case. It's like perfect condition. I have yet to get a Dreamcast game from LukeyGames.com that isn't in perfect condition. It might have one little crack here or there, but usually they're in perfect condition. But yeah, so that's where I got that one. And um, yeah, so let me show you the la uh, last couple that I got. So this game I'd like to show you here is Vector Man. This is the first one for the Sega Genesis, Vector Man. Vector Man for the Sega Genesis. I also got this off of LukeyGames.com. But the cool part about this is, is that um, I didn't know that Lukey Games has a point system. So basically every time you buy something at LukeyGames.com, you uh, build points up. And the more expensive of an item you buy, the more points you get. And so I didn't know that. And then I found out that under the points program, they have certain games that you can select if you have a certain amount of points. So I ended up getting this game for free with my Lukey points. I spent a certain amount of Lukey points and they shipped this game to me for free in the mail. So, uh, that's pretty cool. So that's another thing um, that you want to look out for on LukeyGames.com that I give them props to because um, I don't know if really anybody else does that type of thing. So super cool, man. Vector Man. I didn't really need this game. I have all the Sega Genesis games that I want for my collection, but, you know, I'm not going to pass up a free game. So, uh, yeah. Um, so let me show you guys the last thing that I picked up. Now this is not a game. This is this is um a quick shot arcade stick for the Sega Genesis Sega 32X. This isn't an official Sega brand, but this isn't an arcade stick. I got this mainly for use with my 32X stuff. I believe the marriage of the um arcade ports on that with this together is the perfect marriage. So I got this at High Score Video Games in North St. Paul before they became 1UP Video Games. That's what they're called now, which I had explained in one of my previous videos. But, um, yeah, the, um, I got lucky, and the owner happened to be there that day, and he was um, he had a big box of full of different arcade sticks for different systems. And... Uh, See, that's, that's why it's good to get cool with your um, local video game stores, retro game stores, because, you know, you don't want to be a-holes. You want to get on a good page with them because, you know, he basically just gave me this for free. He was digging in this box to try to price different uh, controllers like this, and he asked me if I wanted this, and I was like, sure. But um, I'll bet you he wouldn't have done that if I hadn't done business with them and been a good customer. So... That's why you always want to treat your game store employees with respect because this is proof right here that um, good things can happen when you do that. But yeah, man, um, those were the pickups for today. So, you know. that That's all I wanted to cover, you know, for... Uh, for, for that video, and um, I'd also like to give a shout out to Rob, that works in the warehouse at my work, I'd like to give him a shout out too, and so now, if he wants a shout out in the future, he's going to have to um, have somebody random subscribe to my channel, and um, people that are subscribed to my channel, comment 
in my, I'm seeing that people aren't really commenting. You don't have to, but comment uh, below if you, if you did have somebody, if I shouted you out already and you did get somebody random to subscribe to me, let me know so then I can shout you out again. And you know, in the future, then if you comment on my videos, you'll get a shout out on the video. So, um, yeah. So yeah, that's all I wanted to say. And then also, um, you know, go look out for, um, what's his name? No, blanket. Okay. Yeah. Go look out for spawn wave. Uh, go look up spawn wave on YouTube. He's a pretty cool YouTube channel. Um, he doesn't really show video game footage and stuff like that, but he's like centric in like all the video game tech stuff and uh, the technifications and he takes consoles apart and stuff like that and um, shows you how to put them back together and tells you what's inside of them and stuff, that kind of stuff. But yeah, go check out Spawn Wave because like I said, you know, I'm one of those YouTubers who gives props to people and, you know, uh, maybe someday we can all become one big family in this, you know, and um, have everybody's stuff together in a museum like uh, like like a couple people want. But uh, yeah, um, so that's all I needed to say today. And like I said, again, uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, uh, share with friends, comment below. And, you know, that's about it. C. Duckett's uh, signing off with another one, OC Motor on Chris Scott Games. Peace.